Time Check, courtesy Alive by Nature's Way, distributed by H&J Enterprises Limited. And welcome. You're watching the 7 o'clock news on CNC3. I'm Ria Rambali. I'm Jesse Ramdale. Ryan Beju has the evening off. I'm Jesse Marouk with sports. And I'm Colleen Hussein with your weather. Let's tell you what's making the news tonight. Rush and Parry emerges from within the UNC to demand fresh internal elections, saying the party's future depends on it. Pastor Ian Brown, the self-proclaimed spy at the SSA, has gone missing. Relatives haven't seen him since March 9th. To recognize his life and contribution, relatives suggest the best way to honor Reginald Dumas. Coming up in sport, TNT's Calypso Stickmen are heading to the Indoor World Cup for a third time after qualifying for the Pan Am Cup final. Mostly hot and sunny conditions this weekend, set to be interrupted by welcome showers. I'll have those details in tonight's weather forecast. Opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bisasa is now being challenged by her own membership to call an internal election. That's right. Mayor Member of Parliament Russian Paris says it's time for change in the UNC, even if it means dethroning Prasad Bisasa. While he has issued a call to his fellow UNC members to help revamp the party, there are some who say they will not be answering. K. Marie Fletcher reports. The upcoming general election isn't the only election in the minds of some parliamentarians. On Friday, MP for Mayaro Rustan Pare publicly demanded that opposition leader Kamala Pasad Bisesa call an internal election to refresh the party otherwise. The UNC will be destined to lose a third successive general election. Pare said there are several problems the party needs to address in order to move forward. He's calling on his UNC colleagues to help in this transition. I want to make a clarion call to all of my colleagues in our beloved party to take a stand for what is right. But despite making this call, not everyone is prepared to answer. Currently we have one leader and that leader has come up to Sadi Sessa. This entire question and issue that has been raised is not even relevant at this point. But according to him, he has been getting the support. They're all supporting me, every one of them. I'm not, I'm not sure who wants to say it now, but I'm sure over time they will say it. Paris said he's ready for change, even if it means he does this alone. What you are doing is committing political suicide. That may very well be the case. And perhaps after today, I may very well be an outcast as well. And Fouad Khan, who has been a UNC member for many years, believes that's exactly what Pari is doing. Rushton is knocking against a, a good door, but he's going to get eliminated because Ms. Pasad Bisesa, once she is the political leader, she will not call elections into the election. Meanwhile, leader of the National Transformation Alliance, Gary Griffith, said it doesn't matter who leads the party. What we would like to see is whoever is the political leader, whoever is in that national executive, have the maturity to understand that the reason why political parties are formed is to win and to get in government. Asked if his end goal is to be the new leader of the UNC, Paris said. If the membership feels that my ability and talent could put me in any position, then I will accept. K. Marie Fletcher, CNC3 News. And leader of the opposition, Kamala Pisabi Sessa, says she will call the internal election when it is constitutionally due. Our party is a strong, very strong party. We remain committed to the party's constitution and to the laws of the land. And thirdly, um, you know, you have some wannabes, I wish them good luck, and, uh, and say we remain committed to the party's constitution, we'll follow the party's constitution, and anyone who wants to jump the gun will wait their turn. Mrs. Pissar Bissessa was speaking to the media after meeting with the Joint Trade Union Movement, led by Ansel Roger, to discuss issues affecting the labor sector. Among them, salary negotiations, labor laws, and the status of the point-to-pay refinery. 
Well, press tonight for the safety of Pastor Ian Brown, the self-professed spy at the Strategic Services Agency. Relatives have not seen him since his home was searched on March 9th. They say Brown, who was stripped of his SRP title on Tuesday, is now in hiding. As we hear in this report by Jensen Event, there's also been a change at the Jerusalem Bride Church, which Brown leads. Up to two weeks ago, there was a sign on this building to identify the Jerusalem Bride Church. But today, that sign has been removed. The church was founded by Pastor Ian Brown. Pastor Brown shot into media spotlight after confessing that he was a spy for the SSA. The SSA is currently undergoing an internal investigation as well as police investigation. And as part of that police investigation, both the church and Pastor Brown's home, which is about six buildings from here, was searched by police on March 9th. Since then, Pastor Brown has made himself scarce. He said that he's fearful for his life and remained in hiding. CNC3 visited his home earlier and spoke with a relative who said that they are praying for his safe return. A relative who spoke to CNC3 News off camera said the family is worried as they have had no communication with him for several days. They fear that his life may be in danger. Calls to Brown's cell phone went straight to voicemail. However, on Monday, CNC3 News interviewed Brown, who confirmed that he was still in possession of his SSA-issued firearm. He said he was interviewed by police and was looking on at the investigation. He did not confirm from where. A resident of Alyong Street in Malabar could not say whether the church had been open for service since the police raid on March 9th. While the doors remained locked, there was still furniture inside the building. Jensen Lavend, CNC3 News. Still to come in the news, Minister of Social Development assures there's no discontinuation of funeral grants. And the Parliament wants to know which financial institutions are failing to comply in fraud cases. Coming up in sport, the TNT Red Force crumbles to an eight-wicket defeat against Barbados Pride. At Bagwan Singh's Port of Spain and Chagonas, we are committed to providing quality products for all major building projects. Let's build together with rebars and beams, BRC coils and mats, RHS and angles, roofing sheets and purlins, lumber, plywood and MDF. Bagwan Singh's, building homes, building communities, building TNT for over 60 years. Bagwan Singh's, Port of Spain and Chagonas, building value every day. To strengthen your immune system, you need to nourish your body with foods rich in antioxidants. Exercise regularly and build your immunity with supportive nutrients. That's why the experts at Jameson created products for immune support made with pure ingredients. For 100 years, Jameson has helped take care of you and your family. At Jameson, your wellness will always be our goal. Jameson, here for your health. Reginald Dumas has left this country with scholarly and practical tools that can help this nation solve some of the challenges of the future. This was one of many tributes paid to the late diplomat who was laid to rest today. And as Ryan Beto tells us in this report, those closest to him have revealed how he would want to be honored. If when an old man dies, a library burns to the ground, then Trinidad and Tobago has lost an encyclopedia in Reginald Dumas. The distinguished former diplomat and head of the public service died on March 7th at the age of 88. His final rites were on Friday. Among those attending his funeral, Ken Gordon, former deputy governor of the Central Bank, Dr. Terence Farrell, former finance minister, Selby Wilson, foreign affairs minister, Dr. Amory Brown, and chief secretary, Farley Augustine. For a man who was once described as Google and was involved in many facets of nation building, there would be no eulogy. He insisted that he didn't want a eulogy. In fact, he half jokingly threatened to create a short video of himself that could be played at his funeral, so he would literally have the last word. Instead, there were reflections on his immense contributions and his lasting legacy from family to friends. Believe in the power of observation and impartial analysis that he imbued in you and go forward with the confidence that you can make the right decisions and excavate the truth. Reggie may be amongst the last of a dwindling breed, but he has left us with a legacy of scholarly and practical tools on how to approach many of the wicked problems confronting our society, our polity, and importantly, our public service. 
From Tunapuna to QRC to an open scholar at Cambridge, Dumas was a shining example for males having grown up with a single mother. He had long advocated for the Public Procurement Act to be proclaimed. He lived to see it last April. But how do you honor a man who left an indelible mark and made an invaluable contribution to this country? His daughter Sonia had an idea. Perhaps a Reggie Dumas scholarship in leadership, diplomacy and or governance could be established at one of our tertiary level institutions. And as Reggie Dumas was laid to rest in an era of partisan politics, his legacy is perhaps to cherish more impartial men like him. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 News. The Ministry of Social Development and Family Services is tonight assuring the public that funeral grants have not been stopped. And Minister Donna Cox says she is trying to identify who authorized the discontinuation of the grants. That's right, Jesse. The minister says she was disappointed to learn of the incident after several complaints were made by bereaved families. While she could not confirm if it was a deliberate attempt to make the ministry look bad, the minister says people seem to be up to mischief. So clients of the ministry, you know, they have been calling and saying that when they go into a private funeral grant, they were being told that the grant was stopped. And they were said they were being told this by staff members of the local board. And the minister urges anyone who may have fallen prey to this to report it to her ministry or the police. She assures the public that the funeral grant will not be stopped anytime soon. In fact, she says they've been trying to make it more accessible. I am not really shocked. I am just concerned. When I got to the ministry, I realized that there were persons making policy decisions who had no authority to make those decisions with regards to the running of the ministry, and particularly with regards to the social welfare division. And um, so we have been looking at it and trying to just improve, you know, customer service, improve the system, make things easier for persons. An investigation continues that the ministry enters a series of fraudulent activities at the ministry, including the use of fake IDs and pension checks for the year. Two employees have been arrested and charged. The minister confirms that the ministry has submitted over 100 files to police for investigation. She expects that more employees will face the full brunt of the law. A joint select committee has requested a list of financial institutions that failed to comply with the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution's order to provide witness statements in fraud cases. The demand came from GSC members Jayanti Lachmidial and Keith Scotland, who also asked for a list of matters awaiting witness statements from financial institutions based on legally obtained production orders. It comes as the GSC on Finance and Legal Affairs noted that 80% of fraud investigations between 2020 and 2023 are still ongoing as a result. The meeting included office holders from the Central Bank, Financial Intelligence Unit and the Police Service. With the GSC's ability to make recommendations, Lodge Media said they need to look into the delays. That's because the conversion of intelligence to evidence is a significant step in bringing anybody to justice. And without the witness yes. statement, you can't lay charges. And it is time sensitive. You can't lay charges. Uh -huh. And there may be people who are, as Member Scotland said, going to Kuwait without actually facing any repercussions under the law. Now, Fraud Squad Head Senior Superintendent Arlette Groom explains that the DPP would advise the financial institutions that he consented to police obtaining a statement from them. But when investigators go to the institution, they encounter a lengthy waiting period. Groom told the meeting that it takes between three months to a year for a financial institution to provide the statements. In some cases, the quality of the statements is insufficient to progress an investigation, which results in stoppages and more time for criminals to flee. When the money goes to Kuwait or Panama, MLAT only takes us so far. So if it passes through Citibank and transfer after that to some country we do not have mutual legal assistance with, it stops there. Maybe sometimes the jurisdiction do prosecute the, the low-hanging the low, the low fruits or the runners, but the money is gone.
A group suggested that Parliament legislate a time frame for financial institutions to produce witness statements on money laundering matters. However, Scotland proposed the central bank issue a practice note or directive to banks to comply with the DPP's order within a reasonable time. In tonight's Business Watch, cybersecurity is one of the top concerns globally, but the central bank admits it's still without a dedicated unit. Meanwhile, the fraud squad admits card skimming cases are difficult to solve. Peter Christopher tells us more. Despite this country seeing increasing numbers of high-profile cyber attacks in recent years, there is still no dedicated unit to address cybersecurity concerns at the central bank currently. However, according to Michel Francis Panto, Deputy Inspector of Financial Institutions at the Central Bank, this is being addressed. The Central Bank has, is aware that cybersecurity has been increasing, but the efforts towards digitalization, we know this is only going to increase. It is one of the top two risks everywhere in the world, cybersecurity. We have, in this regard, we would have um, commissioned technical assistance from the International Monetary Fund, and that has been ongoing. Ms. Panta was asked about this shortcoming during a joint select committee sitting, which served as an examination of the existing anti-fraud and customer protection systems in the financial services sector of this country. At this time, she says, the bank had various units addressing varying issues, but an assessment as to how cybersecurity is to be treated going forward is ongoing. How that will be evolve, whether it's a specialized unit, whether it's additional persons, um, has not been determined at this point. That joint select committee also revealed that the police have generally struggled to make convictions related to card skimming due to the difficulty of identifying perpetrators, according to Fraud Squad Senior Superintendent Arlette Groom. We have no face to put to the, to the camera, like CCTV footage or anything, or the internal cameras, the casino, we have no faces. However, the police have noted a decrease in reports of skimming since the introduction of chip cards. Credit rating agency Kyrie Chris has reaffirmed the ratings currently assigned to the U.S. $400 million debt issue of the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago. The ratings are reaffirmed to carry AA for foreign and local currency on the regional rating scale and TTAA on the Trinidad and Tobago national rating scale. The agency says these ratings indicate that the level of creditworthiness of this obligation, adjudged in relation to other obligations in the Caribbean and within TNT, is high. Kyrie Chris has also assigned a stable outlook on the ratings. The stable outlook, Kyrie Chris says, is premised on the expectation of continued good financial performance by the NGC over the next 12 to 15 months. And now for a look at today's energy and foreign exchange prices. Peter Christopher, CNC3 Business Watch. Well, still to come in the news, with the Piparo volcano spewing mud, people are being warned to stay away, at least for now. Trinidad and Tobago had another mostly hot and sunny day, part of the course for the driest month of the year, March, and we are seeing a weak low-level trough move towards the Windward Islands, staying north of Trinidad and Tobago for the most part, still bringing some partly cloudy conditions and even some isolated showers to Tobago this evening. We could see northern and eastern parts of Trinidad pick up a shower or two as we head into the overnight hours, with possibly more showers as we head into the weekend. I'll have the details on that and much more, just after the break. Need a new ride now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into AnswerBank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoya from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. The 
buys and best savings are at JTA Supermarkets. Happy Coconut Milk Powder, 5 for $19.99. Maribel Peas and Carrots, 3 for $19.99. Island Pride Sardines, 4 for $19.99. Santa Rosa Chicken Vienna Sausage, 4 for $19.99. May Pride Sweet Kernel Corn, 3 for $19.99. Mabel's Peanut Butter, 2 for $19.99. Easy Wrap Aluminum Foil, 2 for $19.99. Carlton's Choice Paper Tower Roll, 4 for $19.99. And Island Pride Laundry Detergent, 2 for $19.99. And so much more. Specials valid until April 7th, 2024. JTA Supermarkets, where your total bill always costs less. If you don't eat food as medicine now, later you will be eating medicine as food. So, what's the best remedy for a longer, healthier life during these critical times? Eating the right foods, exercising, getting enough sleep, cutting back on alcohol, and a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega XL is not perfect. Try Omega XL. The only thing you have to lose is the pain. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Encash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Encash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Encash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Yes, I accept Encash. I accept Encash. I accept Encash. Find businesses that accept Encash with the nearby business feature. Visit Encash.com to learn more. Download the app and create your wallet today. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Nature's Ways Alive Kids Gummies are multivitamin gummies meant to support the development of children's bodies like their bones, muscles, joints, brain, heart, and also their immune health. Choose Alive Kids Gummies by Nature's Way because they deserve it. He hit me. Will CG United cover this? Don't worry. Remember when I was in that competitive arm wrestling circuit? <laughs> crushing all those arms and dreams. So I took them all out for ice cream. And then we got crushed. Anyway, CG United handled my claims fast. That explains the arm. The best cover for the best value. CG United. Good like that. Ramadan Kareem from Southern Food Basket. Get goat stew $22.95 per pound. Beef stew five pounds for $99. Rabi dates 500 gram $24.95. Sultanas $8.95 per pound. Extra large chana two pounds for $18.95. Split peas five pounds for $17.95. Cocoa two liter three for $24.95. Blue waters 410 ml five cases for $100. Mabel's ketchup 750 ml three for $22.95. Smart buy paper towels four for $17. 95. Get the best for less at Southern Food Basket this Ramadan. Visit us at Coffee Street San Fernando, SS Erin Road Pinal, St. Charles Village, Princess Town, Southern Main Road, Point Fortin. Jimmy Abood will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Abood pays your VAT on any purchase. Fellow citizens, our Constitution is a supreme law that safeguards our rights and provides rules for the functioning of government and those in authority. Serving the needs of the public and improving the quality of life of citizens begins with the country's Constitution. The Constitution should guarantee accountability in governance and public service efficiency to us, the people. 
The National Advisory Committee on Constitutional Reform wants to hear from you on possible improvements to our Constitution. Read the Constitution on the website and submit recommendations by April 15th to constitutionalreform2024.gov.dt. PM and a local geoscientist are warning citizens to stay away from the Paparo mud volcano. Since Wednesday, the volcano has been spouting mud as high as 20 feet. Deputy Chairman of the Kuva Tabaki Talparo Regional Corporation, Henry Awong, and his team visited the volcano and he revealed that vi vil villagers are concerned about their safety. But speaking to CNC3 News today, geoscientist Xavier Munan recommended that the area be cordoned off because of volcanic fumes. Very noticeable amount of gas coming off from the mud volcano. This is uh, more than normal, more than you know, we've seen even in 2019. Uh, as such, um, my recommendation would be that people stay away from the mud volcano itself. You know, stay a fair distance away, right? You, you can see it and you can hear it from quite a distance still. Um, but the area will be, need to be cordoned off to, um, because of the amount of gas coming out from it, at least until the activity um, dissipates a bit. Meanwhile, ODPM CEO Rodney Smart says there is no reason to panic, but he also recommends that people stay out of the area. Smart says residents are equipped and an evacuation plan has been put in place since last year. The Paparo volcano erupted in February 1997, displacing 108 people. Since 2019, the volcano has been showing signs of activity. Well, in by and large, we've been enjoying some really good weather these days. Can we see a trend, a continuation of that going into the weekend? Well, March is usually the driest month of the year, so we tend to see mostly sunny days. Tomorrow, though, we might be seeing a bit more rainfall and coming on to the end of the month for the Easter weekend, namely from March 31st. That's when we could be watching out for a few more showers. So let's go take a look what's going on in the Atlantic. What we do have is a weak low level to surface trough that is moving towards the Windward Islands, north of Trinidad and Tobago. And that's bringing some instability and moisture to our area, fueling some showers across Tobago this evening. For the weekend, though, a high pressure system remains in place, trailing this low level trough. So that means we'll see drier conditions, but tomorrow, a high elevated chances for an isolated shower or two that could become heavy during the afternoon. Still dealing with a bit of Saharan dust through the forecast period, so air quality today across Trinidad and down to moderate levels in, in Port of Spain. Unhealthy for sensitive groups for tomorrow, good to moderate air quality across the country. Looking at what we can and expect tonight we do have a few showers again mainly to our north the showers will really impact mostly tobago and eastern parts of trinidad looking at the forecast exactly that minimum low temperatures between 24 and 25 degrees could get a bit cooler down to 23 in interior areas of the island for tomorrow maximum high temperatures coming in at 33 degrees celsius with a bit of afternoon showers and even isolated pockets of rain and that's expected to affect mainly eastern and northern parts of trinidad and tobago with maximum high temperatures coming in at 33 though in Trinidad still walk with your water and sunscreen as you head out and those brief, brief showers rather should be, last no longer than a couple of minutes. Now, if you're looking to head to the beach this weekend spring tides are in effect so that means higher than usual high tides lower than usual low tides so just exercise caution as you head to the coastline and follow the advice of lifeguards. For our extended weather forecast well we have a bit of pitter patters on the roof for the weekend things get a bit drier into next week but with winds calming down we're looking out for some afternoon showers and warm temperatures. That's really the thing that's been with us since the start of the year and it's continuing through the next week. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to go up and just how much further it'll go up. Exactly, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Colleen. We're still to come in the news. Modest and fashionable, we take a look at what's wearing for Eid this year. Need a new ride now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into AnswerBank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoy from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply.
at CW Interiors, find the widest selection of waterproof flooring at the most affordable prices. Choose the perfect floors with the strongest wear layer and a solid, rigid core. Installed and worry-free, top trending and satisfaction assured. Take the right steps to innovative flooring. CW Interiors, making quality affordable. Ferrera Optical is inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Explore our bold and trendy collections of eyewear. Experience the latest lens technology. Earn and redeem points with your Massey card at Ferrera Optical inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Get back to living with our fast acting syrup for relief. Arima Door Center, manufacturers of quality wooden panel doors, flush doors, pine doors, cedar doors, kitchen cupboard doors. Arima Door Center, located at number 4 Cleaver Road, Arima. Arima Door Center, made in TNT. is actor-director Blair Underwood. So Mr. Blair Underwood, it's an honor to be here with you. What would you say to the skeptics out there about Omega XL? What I would say to the skeptics is I was skeptical. And I would say to them they should be skeptical. Every day, I take two pills every morning. And um, you will absolutely see a difference. Hey man, hold up though. I wanna make sure I got some roti. Oh, that. And plantains. But you know that creates inflammation, man. Roti creates inflammation? Yeah. I got the cure, bro. <laughs> I got the cure. Are you feeling unwell? Did your doctor misdiagnose you? If so, a PET scan is what you need. Unlike all other scans, a PET scan detects 90% of cancers, especially where CT and MRI fail to do so and fool you and your doctor. If you have to ask, do I have cancer? A PET scan is your best option. When it comes to cancer, a PET scan gives the answer. Call us for a free consultation. Jimmy Abood will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Abood pays your VAT on any purchase. Lotus brings you quality ingredients to help your culinary adventures. Lotus all-purpose flour for all your baking needs. Lotus baker's flour for breads, pizzas, roti and pows. Lotus cake flour for lighter cakes, muffins, biscuits and pastries. Lotus whole wheat flour for the health conscious wanting more fiber. Lotus cassava and wheat flour, an exceptional blend of natural cassava and wheat flour adding a mild flavor to your baked goods. Create your good food moments today. Lotus, the confidence to create. When strong pain strikes, I take Panadol Ultra. That relieves fast, five types of tough pain. That's when I feel my pain starting to fade and I'm going back to myself. Panadol, release starts here. Coming up. The world's finest cocoa comes from the Caribbean, and the awards are piling up. Caribbean Airlines welcomes you home. Learn more about Republic Bank's Power to Make a Difference program, and regional ties deepen as Barbados networks in Trinidad and Tobago. All this and more on Caribbean Passport TV, CNC3, Sunday at 7.30 p.m.
The Gasparillo NP Quick Shop was robbed early this morning. The business, located opposite the Gasparillo Police Station, was invaded by three bandits. Over $9,000 in cash, four bottles of punch and rum, and a quantity of cigarettes were stolen. Two employees were at the establishment at the time, but they were not injured. Gasparillo Police are investigating. The Education Minister says authorities were not prepared to throw caution to the wind in ensuring the safety of students during yesterday's SEA exam. Before the exam started, there were safety checks, including inspections for explosive devices, which were conducted at several schools. There were also adjustments to the school schedule in the days leading up to the examination to facilitate the exercises. Today, the Education Minister notes that previous bomb threats prompted authorities to undertake the necessary actions. We've had quite a number of um, bomb threats over the past year. Uh, none of them have turned out to be true, but of course they are very disruptive. And so we did not want to take a chance for SD students, and so we implemented to the best of our ability with the assistance of the TTPS what we could have at our schools. Earlier this month, a bomb threat forced hundreds of teachers, students and staff in the southeastern district out of their classrooms. The bomb threats were issued via the Ministry of Education's email address. Well, let's hand you over now to Jassy Marik, who's coming up with sport. Jassy. Thank you. It's a big weekend for local and, uh, of course, international sport. And we'll tell you that belief is high in the Soko Warriors camp as a Copa America spot is on the line in Saturday's play-in against Canada. And the full wrap on what's happening in sport this weekend is coming to you right after this break. Stick around. Chic Leisure Limited, the leading manufacturers of vermicelli. Now available pre-cut in parts and on parts in convenient package sizes. Whatever your needs, trust Chic Leisure Limited for quality products. Chic Leisure Limited, making your life easier. We're the Ghostbusters. It's our job to protect the city. What is it? Doomsday. We're going to need all the help we can get. Heads up. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. Ghostbusters. The 2024 dry season is upon us, and with that expectation, harsh dry conditions, and in the face of rising global temperatures, we must all do our part to conserve our water use. At the Water and Sewerage Authority, we applaud the efforts made by citizens in 2023 to conserve water and value every drop. How can you get involved? By employing simple water conservation techniques at home. Here are some tips. Close the tap when brushing your teeth and washing dishes. Use a bucket instead of a hose when washing your vehicles and driveways. Repair leaks in toilets and overflowing water tanks. Use your washing machine for full loads only. Also, use the value every drop hashtag in your social media posts showing how you conserve our precious resource. Join the movement as we value every drop. If you could see what the future holds, you'd see that while things change, you've still got it. You are strong, resilient, inspiring, and you won't be defined by time. You'll own every minute of it because you were made for more. Discover how Alive Multivitamins by Nature's Way help you age vibrantly. So many ways, every day, so many ways, every day, so many target can be fit. You can get it in the morning, you can get it in the evening too, you can get it in the night time, target can be there for you, yeah. Every day, so many ways, target can be screwed up for days, for your breakfast, lunch and dinner, make sure you choose a winner. Now she want me to eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it. target can be believe it, cannot refuse it, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it. Target can be fit. New look, same great taste, same great quality. Oh. Distributed by Amco, a subsidiary of Anson Macau. Plumbing problems? Don't guess. Call Plumbing Solutions at 6284646. Proud to be serving Trinidad and Tobago for over 20 years. We do it all. Maintenance and repairs, new construction, sewer lines, inspection, drain cleaning, leak detection. We are licensed and insured. 
So call Plumbing Solutions at 628-4646. Definitely seen a difference in my knees, the stiffness in my hips. Because it's an oil extract, I think of it like olive oil in between my joints that are loosening it up. Omega XL has really kept us feeling great. The only thing you have to lose is the pain. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors, and roti makers. Try our high-quality bromate free all-purpose, and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiquilicio Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715. Or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Chiquilicio Limited, quality you can trust. Welcome back. It's time for sport now. And congratulations are in order for Trinidad and Tobago's senior men's indoor hockey team, which has qualified for a World Cup for a third time in its history. Led by a double from Mikel Peer, the Calypso Stickmen defeated the USA 5-4 in a semifinal clash at the Pan American Indoor Cup today in Calgary, Canada. It was a stirring moment in the Trinidad and Tobago dressing room following the result as it meant TNT advanced to the, to the Pan American Cup final against Argentina, where both finalists are then assured a place at the World Cup, expected to take place later on this year. That final, though, is tonight at 9. On Thursday night, Trinidad and Tobago and Argentina met in the final match of the round-robin stage of the competition, with Argentina coming out 12-2 winners. We hope that they can give, the stickmen, that is, can give Argentina a better run this time around. Some cricket news now. Trinidad and Tobago Red Force toppled to a sensational defeat against Barbados in their CWI championship encounter at the Queen's Park Oval today. Trinidad and Tobago started the third day on 100 for the loss of three in their second innings, trailing by just seven runs. But what took place was a colossal collapse. TNT's next seven wickets fell for the addition of just 24 runs to that team total, giving the Red Force a lead of just 17. Like in the first innings, Jason Holder claimed four wickets for Barbados, but Jomel Warrican was the main destroyer with six for 31. Barbados lost two wickets in an otherwise straightforward chase, getting to 20 for the loss of two to seal that fifth round win. It all comes down to this. One match between the Soko Warriors and Canada can determine the futures of two groups of eager young players. Today, both teams gave their final thoughts before the Conmebol Copa America playing in Texas tomorrow afternoon. More in this report. Trinidad and Tobago's senior national men have a point to prove in Frisco as they take on Canada for a place in the 2024 Copa America. We believe in ourselves and believe what we have been doing and what we've been working on. And I think that's key for us first and foremost before we look towards the opponent. And we want to win. We know it's not going to be an easy game. It's going to be challenging, but we're up to the task and we believe in ourselves. So we're going to give everything. Last time out, TNT registered only its fifth win over the USA. Head coach Angus Eve says it's been an important signpost on the road to the Copa play-in. For us, it, it was a, a confident booster. And uh, we get a little bit more belief in the guys. We got a lot, a lot more guys playing on the outside since that match. Um, so, you know, we, we're in good spirits and uh, looking forward to the match. In 2000, Eve scored in the only two TNT wins over Canada in the 11 match rivalry. And he sees parallels between his team and the young Canuck squad picked for tomorrow's match. We, we went through that sort of transition when after the Gold Cup. We were, we were better for it. With the type of players that they have, we don't think that they're going to drop at all. Uh, we think that they're going to be more motivated to win this match uh, because they're hosting the World Cup. Um, they expected to beat us. Uh, we are the underdogs and we accept the role. Uh, so we think that they were going to come out hard at us and uh, we, we're going to be prepared for it. And despite the unified Soka Warriors front, Canada head coach Mauro Biello says they've singled out Levi Garcia for particular scrutiny. It's a player that, uh, that brings his ability to beat you on the dribble, his ability to outpower you, his ability to shoot, his ability to pass. So it's a, it's a really good player uh, that we definitely need to uh, pay special attention to. Tomorrow's match between the 50th and 90th ranked teams in the world for the final Group A place begins at 4 p.m. TNT time. Jovan Ravello, CNC3 Sport. 
All right, well, with the Soko Warriors set to tangle with Canada in that Conmebol Copa America play -in, we asked in our People Say question tonight, are you confident Trinidad and Tobago can qualify? The Trinidad man go say yes, Trinidad go win. <laughs> but reality? <laughs> reality? Nah, I, I don't feel I don't feel we won't pull it off. If we do, happy for them. If we do, happy for them, my bad, you need to go. Trinidad Tobago, do all the best, but all the winners lost. <laughs> I ain't too sure. We need the, the spirit of the people. We need the spirit of the people, and that is where we ain't gain. We guys confident, so I confident. And I have a little faith in the country that will win the football finals tomorrow. We have to win. We will win. And enough is enough. We will continue winning. Things looking a little bit shaky uh, with the man in the street, but hopefully we can pull that off. And who knows, maybe a celebration to come in that Easter week leading up. Now, Five Rivers Secondary and East uh, Mukarapo Secondary secured Guilds titles today, day two of the secondary school's basketball championships. East Mukarapo walked away with the under-15 Guilds title. Their top performer, Renessa Serret, took the MVP award for her nine points and four rebounds. Five Rivers Secondary had to settle for second, and Faisabad Secondary was third. The Five Rivers Open Division girls avenged that defeat by beating Bishops High School Tobago in that final. Tiara Antoine's 14 points and three rebounds was MVP worthy. The championships will conclude tomorrow at the Maloney Indoor Sporting Complex. Fatima College goes for two more titles then. First against Holy Cross College in the boys under 17 national final and then against Hillview College in the boys under 20 division. Tonight, we continue to focus the spotlight on Trinidad and Tobago's Carifta Games team. On Wednesday, we shared the expectations of team coaches Kelvin Nanku and Michelle Penny. Tonight, we hear from some of the athletes themselves, starting with Games debutant Kirell Thomas. Thomas specializes in the under-20, 400-meter, and 4x400-meter relay. It's very inspiring seeing some so many good athletes from Trinidad and Tobago and being a part of the team training with them and interacting with them. Going into the curve that game is 2024. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little scared and think because it's my first time making a team. But training going alright. Kanisha Shelbourne is making her second trip to the games and hoping to improve on last year's performance, taking on the high jump, triple jump, and four by four hundred. So last year I competed in high, four hurdles, triple jump as well. So this year I'm focusing more on the high and triple. I believe I'm more prepared mentally and physically with the help of my coaches and everyone around. I feel more motivated as today we are training with the team. I'm feeling more prepared mentally and physically. So I'm for sure ready for next week. Of course, yours truly will be following the exploits of these young athletes in Grenada over that Easter weekend. Defending CONCACAF Nations League champions, the USA will battle Mexico for the 2024 title after the two teams took care of their semi-final business against Jamaica and Panama, respectively. Kasten Cupid has the highlights. The USA pulled a rabbit out of a hat to defeat the reggae boys at the AT&T Stadium last night in Dallas. With the game only seconds old, Jamaica took the lead through Greg Lee when he headed home. 1-0 to the boys. From the first minute, let's fast forward to the last minute of the match. And with USA facing the exit, Corey Burke had a hard-breaking own goal to send the match into extra time. From there, Haji Wright took over. A quick-fire brace in the 96 and 109th minutes completed the comeback and an incredible 3-1 victory. In the other semi-final, Panama tried to put up a fight, but Mexico was too strong. Goals from Edison Alvarez in the fourth yet. And three minutes later, for Julian Quintores, along with Obelin Penida in the 67th, sealed the 3-0 win, setting up a blockbuster final. Kasten Cupid, CNC3 Sport. All right, and as avid CNC3 viewers, we know that at this time on a Friday evening, we give you the sport wrap where we highlight all of the key sporting events happening over the weekend. Once more, here's Kasten Cupid. 
We start with some basketball. The Dial Basketball Championships will crown a champion on Saturday when Spartans put their unbeaten record on the line against Maloney Pacers, who will be looking for the ultimate revenge from 8.30 at the Princess Royal Court in Arima. On Sunday, the action continues when the Premiership Division Best of three final series gets going with game one, also from 8.30, as new chapter takes on Maloney Pacers. Exciting basketball for you and the family to go and witness. The Port of Spain Netball League will have its grand opening at the Woodbrook Youth Facility on Sunday from 3 p.m., so go on out and support. The first ever Caribbean Youth Draft Tournament will also push off on Sunday at the Point Lisa's Chamber from 2 p.m. Go and support as they vie for top spots and a spot in the World Championships to be held in Poland. And last but certainly not least, the TDCB's Premiership Division title will be decided this weekend when the final round comes to an exciting end. Will Marching come from behind and nick it when they battle Victoria at Marching Recreational Ground in Central? Or will Central Sports hold firm against PowerGen at Sign Village to take the title? Well, only time will tell. Well, I'm Casting Cooper, and that's all you need to know where to go, what to do over the weekend in your CNC3 Sports Wrap. And we end with some NBA action. Three the hard way for tonight's Sport High. Last night in Dallas, Luca was your silver. Doncic sending carry with the air is rare. He had something for everyone. A long range bounce pass for Jones Jr. to gobble up. Or maybe you like a little hustle. Irving with the toss up, Derek with the slam dunk. A three piece special. Doncic's dimes delivers tonight's CNC3 Sports Eye. That people say. Yeah. yeah kid, you know, that doubt came from a place of deep. Disappointment. I, I, I want to say I am the eternal optimist, and I'm going to say it now. I think we're going to come out three nil victors against Canada. What, what, what's your prediction? Very generous, Jesse. Crazy I think we can team. nick it two one with a late goal from the man who Canada are singling out, Levi Garcia. All right, All right great. We look forward to those results in tomorrow's newscast. Okay. Thank you so much, Jesse. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99. Or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Try Omega XL. The only thing you have to lose is the pain. Oh! Omega XL has over 30 different fatty acids. Omega XL is not from fish. Omega XL is an all natural, omega free, anti inflammatory. Lotus brings you quality ingredients to help your culinary adventures. Lotus all-purpose flour for all your baking needs. Lotus baker's flour for breads, pizzas, roti and pows. Lotus cake flour for lighter cakes, muffins, biscuits and pastries. Lotus whole wheat flour for the health conscious wanting more fiber. Lotus cassava and wheat flour, an exceptional blend of natural cassava and wheat flour adding a mild flavor to your baked goods. Create your good food moments today. Lotus, the confidence to create. Welcome to Paradise Pools and Spas Limited, the Caribbean's number one supplier of pool cleaning chemicals and equipment. Explore the largest fully stocked showroom in the Caribbean with the world's top brands in cleaning supplies, pumps, filters, heaters, lights, and beautiful accessories to make your pools and spas feel like paradise. Consult all professionals for quality maintenance service or construct your personal paradise pool design. Delivery available throughout Trinidad and Tobago from any of our three locations, Santa Cruz, Duncan Village, San Fernando, and Conby, Tobago. Welcome to ABC Doors and Windows, GT's number one destination for the best quality and widest variety of doors and windows. Enhance your space with our premium wooden, steel panels, fiberglass, and steel security doors. Complemented by our aluminium, UPVC, and steel windows. Shop for the best quality and service at ABC Doors and Windows. Visit our impressive showroom at 1 Chanka Trace, El Socorro South, or call 638 7184 to get started. Trust ABC for a better choice. Period nights don't have to look like this. Move less, wake up to change. So change for a real night's sleep with Always Overnight. Its three times protection system absorbs, locks the fluid, and keeps it away from your skin. For protected nights without leaks. Always. Chic Leisha Limited, the leading manufacturers of vermicelli. Now available pre-cut in parts and on parts in convenient package sizes. Whatever your needs, trust Chic Leisha Limited for quality products. Chic Leisha Limited, making your life easier. 
Colgate Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for whole mouth health and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Chic Leisure Limited, the leading manufacturers of vermicelli. Now available pre-cut in parts and on parts in convenient package sizes. Whatever your needs, trust Chic Leisure Limited for quality products. Chic Leisure Limited, making your life easier. In some regional news, Guyana has made an appeal for international assistance in addressing the new efforts by Venezuela to claim Essequibo. Today, Guyana's Home Affairs Minister raised serious concerns about recent actions by Venezuela regarding the Essequibo region. The situation has escalated as Caracas violated the terms of the Joint Declaration for Dialogue and Peace, which was negotiated in St. Vincent and the Grenadines last year. The Venezuelan government and its National Assembly have now asserted that Essequibo belongs to Venezuela, a move that contradicts the principles established during the discussions at Argyle and in Brazil. This development has prompted Guyana's move to appeal for international assistance. And internationally, Princess Catherine of Wales reveals she has been diagnosed with cancer. Princess Kate said she is in the early stages of treatment and is undergoing preventative chemotherapy. This comes after the princess underwent surgery in January for what doctors believed was a non-cancerous abdominal condition. Further testing after the operation revealed the presence of an unspecified form of cancer. She said the news came as a huge shock and that she and Prince William needed time to process it for the sake of their young family. She praised Prince William for being by his side as a great source of comfort and reassurance and thanked the public for their support. In February, Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles III is also currently undergoing treatment for an unspecified cancer. Since the beginning of Ramadan, Muslims across TNT have been praying and fasting. However, both men and women are also shopping for their choice of clothing to commemorate this year's Eid al-Fitr. Curious about the fashion and passion of shoppers, CNC3 News headed to Ahad Haya to learn more um, about what Muslims are buying during the month of Ramadan. Matthew Chin reports. Ramadan Reminder, brought to you by Sheik Leisha Limited. There are several Islamic wear. The designs and fabric depend on the region you live in and the culture you follow. For the men, they have the thobes, which is the long gongs. You might have seen the pope wearing something like that in white. Um, but uh, they, they come in white, black, many different colors, designs. Some of them are sporty, some of them are elegant, some of them are formal. Um, and they have uh, colors, no color, different, depends on the, ge the geographic part of the world. Mustik Hussein says in Trinidad, all designs can be found. The majority of the Muslim world is in the Middle East or Africa or Asia. And um, those cultures have their own particular likenesses. Um, and we just try to get from all of them. Um, and basically in Trinidad, everybody does wear all the different stuff. They're not, they're not particular on one thing. Once it look nice, they wear it. As for the garments worn by Muslim women. They have abayas, they have abayas, and they have kaftans, they have regular dresses, casual dresses, and they have uh, kaftans from different parts of the world. So the designs on those also vary according to the country they come from. The Turkish ones, for instance, are a little more Western looking, and uh, the Arabic gongs are more oriental looking. Like the designs, the prices vary based on where the clothings are imported from. The cheapest ones, he says, are from China. This one is a new design that came out this year. And it's black on black. Uh, the Europeans like this a lot. And it has these designs with the um, thread work, I think. A new design and it also has a hoodie. This is probably 380. While some Muslims are willing to try trendier designs, others stick to the basics, especially since prices have increased. Yes, I have seen some increase in prices, but um, I'm just looking for what's affordable to my budget. Okay, like certain styles of, of dress or garb and that you no, like? I am, I am very, very um, normal. I don't go all out to the way and all these fancy styles. I am not like that. So I'm just looking for basic things. While there are many outfits to choose from, Muslims ensure that their attire reflects modesty and their cultural heritage. Matthew Chin, CNC3 News.
Ramadan Reminder, brought to you by Sheik Leisha Limited. All right, as we leave you, let's remind you to stay connected with us on our social media platforms. There you'll find tonight's stories, the latest updates and exclusive content. And don't forget to pick up a copy of The Guardian newspaper. We've come to the end of the 7 p.m. news on CNC3. Thanks for watching. I'm Ria Rambali. I'm Jesse Ramdu. I am Jesse Marie. And I am Colleen Hussein. Have a great weekend.